His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a phone call from French President Emmanuel Macron during which they discussed regional and international developments and issues of mutual interest. President Macron expressed the interest of the French Republic in the initiative presented by His Majesty the King during the recent Arab summit, the Bahrain summit, to hold an international conference for peace in the Middle East that encompasses a comprehensive and lasting solution to the Palestinian issue in accordance with international resolutions. For his part, His Majesty the King thanked President Macron for the interest and support for this initiative, emphasizing that Bahrain is keen to develop its historical relations with the friendly French Republic in various fields and to work together to enhance security and peace in the region and the world. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa praised the government's efforts led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa during the commemoration of Ashura. His Majesty commanded the preparations and provision of services required for this occasion, which remains as one of the most prominent manifestations of religious freedoms and plurality in Bahrain over centuries. His Majesty valued the coordinated efforts of government bodies, highlighting the provision of security and community services and the support to rituals to ensure they were observed freely and comfortably. His Majesty also recognized the efforts of the Ministry of Interior, the Jaffari Endowments Council, scholars, clerics, heads of matams, supervising committees and volunteer field teams. He appreciated the awareness and national responsibility shown during the commemoration and expressed appreciation for the meticulous organization. His Majesty added that this year's Ashura commemoration was marked by high level of discipline and organization, underscoring Bahrain's openness and cohesion as a harmonious and peaceful society. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ahmed bin Salman al Musalam, emphasized that the successful observance of the Ashura season confirms Bahrain's commitment to supporting, nurturing, and respecting freedoms and beliefs which are deeply rooted in national constants and authentic community culture under the Comprehensive Development March of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa and the support and follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad al Al Khalifa. Al Musalam said that the civilized approach of Bahrain, which is rich in respecting freedoms and religious practices with complete safety and reassurance, confirms the continuous efforts to enhance community cohesion, preserve the principles of tolerance and peaceful coexistence, and the high royal patronage and ongoing support for the revitalization of religious occasions. The speaker praised the efforts of the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, in providing all means of security and safety, implementing the law, and ensuring the successful and distinguished observance of Ashura. Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Salah Al Salah also affirmed that the high level support and patronage enjoyed by religious rituals and occasions from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa embody a wise royal approach to solidifying the values of peace, religious coexistence, and human tolerance. Al Salah said that the support of His Majesty the King for Ashura every year and the concerned government efforts confirm the pioneering role and uniqueness of Bahrain in respecting religions and preserving religious rituals, highly appreciating the follow-up and attention of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister and his keen interest in the success of the Ashura season and the mobilization of resources to ensure the observance of the season, which highlights the national constants that the Bahraini society is known for and its adherence to the values of love, brotherhood and tolerance. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ahmed bin Salman al Musalam, received the Speaker of the Shura Council of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Dr. Abdullah bin Mohammed bin Ibrahim al Sheikh. Al Musalam welcomed the Saudi Shura Speaker and his delegation to Bahrain. He highlighted the advanced status of the distinguished historical ties as well as the cooperation and strategic partnership supported by the leaderships of both kingdoms. A meeting between the Council of Representatives and the Saudi Shura Council 
will be held during that visit and a bilateral memorandum of understanding will be signed to support parliamentary coordination. The Saudi speaker will also meet with the Shura chairman to enhance parliamentary cooperation. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, met in New York the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Emigrants of Lebanon, Dr. Abdullah Abu Habib. The meeting came on the sidelines of the open debate of the UN Security Council on the situation in the Middle East and the Palestinian issue. The meeting discussed bilateral ties and advancing cooperation between both countries. They also discussed the latest regional developments, the high tension and escalation on the Lebanese Israeli border, its repercussions on security and stability in Lebanon, the development of the war on the Gaza Strip, efforts to reach a ceasefire, and facilitating the access of humanitarian aid to the civilian population. The two officials emphasized the importance of implementing Security Council Resolution 1701 on the situation in Lebanon and de-escalation on the Lebanese-Israeli border. They underscored the importance of developing efforts to enhance security and stability in Lebanon and providing Arab support to address political, security and economic challenges facing it and the repercussions on Lebanon's security, stability and prosperity. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, also met in New York the Russian Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sergei Lavrov, on the sidelines of the open discussion of the UN Security Council on the situation in the Middle East and the Palestinian issue. The meeting discussed the country's close historical friendship relations and ways to enhance bilateral cooperation in a way that serves their mutual interests within the framework of the agreements concluded between the two friendly countries. The two sides discussed the latest regional and international developments and their implications on regional security and stability, development efforts and humanitarian conditions. They discussed the war on the Gaza Strip and the Arab and international efforts aimed at stopping it and supporting the efforts to achieve a just and comprehensive peace in the Middle East. The meeting discussed the outcomes of the Arab summit hosted by Bahrain last May, the initiatives it adopted and the efforts made by Bahrain to follow up on the implementation of these initiatives in cooperation with international and regional organizations. In addition, the results of the fruitful official visit of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, President of the current session of the Arab Summit to Moscow last May, and his meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin were reviewed. Zanayani expressed gratitude to the Russian Foreign Minister for the invitation extended to Bahrain in its capacity as the president of the current session of the Arab Summit to participate in the Security Council's open discussion session on the Middle East and the Palestinian issue. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also met with the Hungarian Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade, Peter Zjarton, on the sidelines of the Minister's participation in the meeting of the UN Security Council on the situation in the Middle East and the Palestinian cause. They discussed the two countries' close ties and cooperation and means to further them in political, economic and investment fields within the framework of their joint agreements and the efforts of the Joint High Ministerial Committee between both countries. The two sides discussed the latest regional developments and their repercussions on international peace and security, the situation in the Gaza Strip and Arab and international efforts to reach a ceasefire and deliver humanitarian aid and advancing the peace process in the Middle East to achieve a just and lasting peace in the region. Dr. Zayani reviewed with his Hungarian counterpart the outcomes of the Arab summit held in Bahrain and the initiatives of the Bahrain declaration announced by His Majesty the King, the president of the current session of the Arab summit and adopted by the summit, including the call for an international peace conference in the Middle East to resolve the Palestinian cause in accordance with the resolutions of international legitimacy. The two officials also underscored the importance of supporting efforts to establish a just, a comprehensive peace in the region and meet the aspirations of its peoples for security, stability and prosperity.
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Ablatif Ben Rashad Zayani, also met in New York with the President of the International Committee of the Red Cross, Marinia Spoljaric, on the sidelines of his participation in the meeting of the UN Security Council on the situation in the Middle East and the Palestinian cause. They discussed developments in the Middle East and their repercussions on the humanitarian situation of the civilian population. They reviewed international efforts to stop the war in the Gaza Strip and efforts to deliver aid to the people of the Gaza Strip. The meeting discussed the ICRC efforts in providing humanitarian assistance to those affected by regional and international conflicts and natural disasters and means to further enhance cooperation and coordination in humanitarian efforts. The Minister of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture, Engineer Wa'al bin Nasser al-Mubarak, received the chairman and members of the Northern Region Municipal Council to discuss the overall issues related to developing municipal projects in the government. Al-Mubarak affirmed continuation of work on implementing a package of service projects across Bahrain's governorates. He lauded the role and efforts of the Northern Government Municipal Council in supporting and developing the municipal work and following up on service projects. Projects. The Minister of Sustainable Development and Chief Executive of the Economic Development Board, Noor Bint Ali Al Khulaif, participated in the ministerial segment of the UN High Level Political Forum on Sustainable Development in New York. Al Khulaif delivered the Kingdom's statement showcasing Bahrain's efforts in accelerating SDG implementation. She presented the key outcomes of the 33rd Arab Summit and the initiatives of the Bahrain Declaration announced during the summit by. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, chair of the current session of the Arab Summit, which were endorsed by the member states. Ms. Al Khulaif also spoke about Bahrain's focus on economic development and the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in formulating Bahrain's Economic Vision 2050. On the sidelines of the UN High Level Political Forum on Sustainable Development in New York, the Minister of Sustainable Development and Chief Executive of the Economic Development Board, Noor Bent Ali Al Khulaif, held a meeting with the President of the 78th Session of the UN General Assembly, Dennis Francis. Al Khulaif praised the importance of the forum, which is considered a major global platform for following up on the implementation of the 2030 Sustainable Development Plan. For his part, Francis praised Bahrain's pioneering experience in implementing and achieving the Sustainable Development Goals. Al Khulaif also met with the Executive Secretary for the UN Economic and Social Commission for Western Asia, ESQA, Dr. Rola Dashti. The two sides discussed the Kingdom's efforts in developing Bahrain SDG debate database and potential opportunities to collaborate to leverage international expertise and best practices to accelerate sustainable development in Bahrain. Bahrain. The Kingdom of Bahrain has adopted numerous initiatives and work programs to achieve sustainable development goals across various sectors. Bahrain has aligned its future national strategies with global sustainable development aspirations and approach embraced by all official entities in the Kingdom. The recent participation of the Minister of Sustainable Development, Noor Bent Ali Al Khulaif, in the ministerial segment of the UN High Level Political Forum on Sustainable Development in New York underscores Bahrain's commitment to the sustainable development agenda. Bahrain's enlightened visions and achievements in sustainable development were also highlighted in the key outcomes of the 33rd Arab Summit and initiatives from the Bahrain Declaration announced by His Majesty the King which were endorsed by member states. <laughs> 